Man, who I got over here on Court Out Blow right now, you man? Got Juice Too Much, man, from Boston, Massachusetts, Dorchester, Mass. You feel me? Fuck it. Man, where we at right now, though, man? We, we, and we deep Geneva, somewhere in the motherfucking Corona, back streets and Corona shit. Corona Street, Westville. Feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> man. I don't work no gangs, but, you know, I got niggas around me who do that shit, so I'm straight. So I, I hear that. Say whatever. I hear that, bro. All right, bro. Get it. What's the word though, man? What's the word with it, dog? Nothing, man. I'm just chilling out here, you know. I just got from the liquor store. Had to get ready, you know. Had to do it. Had to do it in the morning. What's the, what's the leading life out here in Boston, though, man? Like, how was it growing up and shit? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the routines out here? The routines are simple, I feel like. You know, get up every day. Get up, grind. You feel me? You know, but people's gonna hate on you, but you just gotta keep pushing, keep moving, you know? Just do you. You can't focus on what everybody else is doing. So that's how I feel like Boston moves or should move. And if they don't, then there's something wrong with them. So. Man, trust me. I'll be seeing you on the butt, man. <laughs> why, why motherfuckers hating on you like that, bro? Man, I mean, there's probably so many reasons why people hate me. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just being myself. Or I don't sound like these other people out here. These other artists. You feel me? Yeah. And I'm not going to discredit. I'm not going to discredit other artists because they're doing their shit. But I feel like there's more to life or there's more to rap than just, you know, the street life and guns and drugs and killings. So I feel like there's more to life than that. I want to I want to speak a message. Sometimes I catch myself sound like other people. But if I do that, I do it in my own way. But there's, there's many reasons why people hate me. I really don't know the reasons. People just hate on me for being me. Diff I'm probably just different. So, I don't know. Nah, I hear that, though, man. Know. Your music is different, though, bro. I can Hell tell you yeah. that for a fact, man. You know what I'm saying? I see that, you know, you don't stick with, stick with one sound either. Oh, no. Like you always got to switch it up. It's always good to be versatile. I like to be versatile. That gives the listeners something to keep listening to, something to vibe out to. You know, I try to touch on all topics. I try to touch on love, heartbreak, real shit, anything. Like, whatever's, whatever's, whatever I feel like talking about i'm gonna talk about to be honest so i'm gonna speak my truth i'd rather keep it real you always want to be real because other people out here they don't keep it real they cap people cap out here a lot of them so you know but it's okay they're doing their thing i'm gonna do mine i'm gonna stay in my lane they can stay in theirs so you get attention for like being an artist like more attention than you you feel that like you should be getting um like, this is like a normal basis not a rapper like as a regular person and shit well, to be honest, with the music in my life, I kind of mix the two. So it, it kind of goes hand in hand for me. So I get attention no matter what I do. It can be music, anything. Even before the music, I was going viral. I was doing, I was making funny statuses. You know, I was making funny videos. So I had that already. I already had the, the clout, as people say, or I already had people looking at me. So I wanted to do music and it just turned into a whole big thing. So it's just all in one, I feel like. So it, my life and music is all in one. But sometimes I have to separate it, so. What got you in that shit though, man? Music. Say that one more time. What got, what got you into music and shit? Um, to be honest, it was my brother. Like, I didn't meet my dad when I was younger. I met him at 14, so me and my dad, I met my brother. So my brother, he showed me that he does music and I saw the tension he was getting. So I'm like, okay. I saw the love, I saw his life was different. It seemed like his life was good. So I wanted that too. But um, as time as time went on, um, I grew a passion for it. I loved it. I learned it, try to learn the craft, try to work on myself and you know, but it changed my life. So that's all I can say, man, about that, Word. how it started. Word, man. If anybody wanted to hear your music, man, what song would you recommend? You know what I'm saying? That's personally one of your favorite music, like at least three of them. Um, I would have to say Hold Me Down. You can find it on YouTube. Um, Juice Too Much, Hold Me Down. It's the alternate version. Um, I'm coming with a uh, official video soon. That's in the works right now. Um, what else? You can also find out on Apple Music, Hold Me Down. Juice Too Much, just type it in, it'll pop up. Hold me, hold me down right there um what other song out my way that's on youtube um just search it up drew too much times louis lungs that's my boy shout out to him um that's another favorite um and you can find also on my way on soundcloud it's on my soundcloud page 
And another song that I would recommend for people to listen to is, hmm, it's a hard one to be honest. I got so many songs, but Alone. And that's also with my boy, Louis Lungs. That's one of my favorite songs. Right. So you can find it on SoundCloud. And that's it. I'm thinking about putting it on, on our platforms, but I'm not sure. Like, that's an old song, but it's still new. But as time goes on, I want to elevate and show people what I can do. I don't want to, because probably people already heard it before, but I just want to, I just want to elevate my music. But that's the three I would recommend. Hold Me Down, Out My Way, and Alone. Again, you can find Out My Way on YouTube. Search it up. Do Too Much Out My Way, Times Louis Lungs. Um, hold me down, YouTube and SoundCloud and iTunes. Oh, actually, hold me down is on all platforms, I believe. So, like Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music, um, and all you know, you know it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, Google Play, all that. So, yeah, man. So, like, you know. Yeah, you don't have a lot of Florida people out here watching this this interview and everything, man. I, I want to know, man. Let them know, man. Like, you know, in, in your perspective, man. Like, how's the city of Boston? Um, in your perspective, everybody got their perspective about it, bro. In my perspective, oh, I love Boston. It's 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 good to move around. It's good to you know be around, but also there's a, like I said earlier, there's a lot of a lot of hate. So you know. Um, here, a lot of people's gonna hate on you in Boston. No matter what you do, how good you are, who you are, they're gonna hate. I get that, I get the hate, you feel me? But, you know, Boston, it's tough out here. There's a lot of tough people, but like I said, a lot of people cap, so you gotta divide the road from the fake. Cause now, like, for me, growing up here, there's a lot of fakeness going on. Yeah. That's why I try to keep my way, like, What's the word? I try to stay away from certain people. Like maneuver yourself yeah, around. Yeah, maneuver myself. Yeah. Stay away from certain people, you know, keep my circle small because you don't know who's out to get you. So, you know, so, I mean, Boston, it's fake and realness, but there's a lot of hate. Everybody wants to put each other down. No one wants to lift each other up, tell them what they need to work on. You feel me? Like, yeah. I feel like this would be more love. But people's gonna fuck with who they want. Who they want. If you have clout, they gonna fuck with you. They gonna fuck with you if you have clout. So, then that's how it is. And they gonna fuck with you if you talk about guns, drugs, and all that. So, and that's that's why I come in like, damn. Sometimes I question myself like, why is it like this here? How come people can't change and lift other people up? So I mean, I love it. I love the city, the people whom I'm around. But also, there's also, there's also a lot of hate. Yeah, a lot I know, of envy. I noticed out here too, man. Like, there's a lot of fucking streets, bro. Cause in Florida, <laughs> our blocks are way different than y'all blocks. Y'all blocks are literally block to block. Like, they're yeah, not even yeah. fucking 50 feet apart. Man, like, there's mad scripts out here. Like, are these all different types of neighborhoods? Or, like, cause, you know, right now, where specifically are we in? Like, I know Boston got different parts. Yeah. Like, you know, Phil's Corner, motherfucking. Mm -hmm. Like, what area is this type shit? So it's, like, it's confusing. There's, like, different types of streets everywhere like you yeah. said there's a lot so right we're at when we're in phil's corner this is phil's corner this is a part of phil's corner okay but this is but this is yeah this is phil's corner it's dorchester but this is yeah there's a lot of streets like is, is it a certain type of um like you know like i'm seeing like a lot of Verdeans over here oh hell like, yeah it's just like more Verdeans on this side like you know what i'm saying to be honest it just depends but Last time I checked, there was Cape Verdeans, a lot of Cape Verdeans in Brockton. So, okay. I mean, and that's a whole different, you know, whole that's different city. Here. That's a whole different city from here. That's like an hour away, but it's a lot of streets, man. Like, but it's a lot. And there's a lot of, like, gangs going on. Like, there's a lot, a lot of gangs that's close to each other. Yeah. So See, that's, just, that's another man. thing, too. It's just and that, sometimes, yeah. that's different as hell out right here. You know what I'm saying? The streets are so close. So close. Sometimes it can get confusing, like, where the fuck I'm going? Wasn't I just over here? Like, it, it's like that, bro. It's yeah. like that. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. But yo, wait, does that, like, when it comes to the music and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You were just talking about there being, like, a lot of, like, hatred out here, you know, a lot of co conflictions with, you know, other people. Does that, like, you think that, that messes up the sound of Boston? Because, you know, a lot of people really can't work <laughs> with each other in terms? Or you just, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, something just got to happen that people, just, this Boston is going to start getting their shine. I don't feel like a lot of people get Boston as credit. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That messes up the sound because as as a city, we should come together as one. No matter who you are, where you're from, I feel like we should all come together. If you really want it, 
And if you really want to get it, you have to come together. Like my mom always told me, teamwork makes the dream work. Without teamwork, ain't nothing's gonna work. And with the with the gangs and stuff and the division, that messes up everything. And plus, I'ma say it, I don't know who else is gonna say it, Boston doesn't have their own sound. When you hear Boston, you hear New York. And I'm just being honest. Cause what what's up? What do you hear? There's no originality, I feel like. And that's why I get so mad. Cause there's no originality. I feel like when you hear me, that's a Boston sound. And no bullshit, I catch myself sounding like other people, but I do it in my own way. So, but of course there's a lot of division and that, that's why we haven't made it out as a city. That's why people don't take us serious. Cause the division and the hatred towards each other, like I don't understand why we cannot come together because we're not coming together. Boston doesn't, Boston doesn't even have its own sound. It's very, like you gotta be very distinct. So that's my take on it.